Hello guys, James here and welcome to the final and ninth episode of my World Cup Road to Glory on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to start just doing a quick substitute SPC. Just again using a rubbish player and then uh, getting pretty much another rubbish player. And uh, yeah, this episode basically is laid out, I'll just show you the, um, the teams you come up against in all the games until the one we lose um, so yeah it's just highlights well no sorry it's just start of the game it's it like the team coming up against and then the final result and the packs and stuff and uh, yeah I've ended the series just because obviously the World Cup done now so there's no more upgrades to be had or anything like that in this mode and now that the World Cup's done it's pretty much a bit dead really but yeah um, we start off with a 2-1 win, first game of the group stage, very nice indeed. And then we go into a PAX. Our record's not bad, 38-6. We'll have to wait and see at the end of the episode if we won or not the actual World Cup in this game. But uh, we go through now, get another rubbish player, just send him up to the uh, duplicate storage. But yeah guys, I want you to leave down in the comments um, what sort of videos you want to see for the rest of FIFA 18 on normal ultimate team I'm thinking of just doing a draft of glory for now like sort of just play drafts on this account on normal ultimate team and uh, see what we can amass and how many coins we can get and if we can pull any good players and stuff but um, yeah leave your ideas and uh, feedback on that and also in the comments you want you to leave your favorite player your favourite goal and the um, the player you think is going to get sort of the best transfer after the World Cup from their performances. So uh, yeah, my best goal is probably going to have to be um, what we're thinking now. Cherishev's in the first game was good. Um, oh, let's think. For me, being an England fan, watching that um, Trippier free kick flying in was amazing. Obviously, we didn't win that game, but yeah, that was an amazing goal. Um, I know that there was a good one, I just can't think of it. Um, I'll have to get back to you on that, but yeah, not sure my favourite goal. Oh, actually, it's probably Pavard's uh, like half volley against Argentina. That was absolutely unbelievable. But um, yeah, favourite player would have to be probably Mbappe. You can't, he's just so good at so young and he seems quite humble with it as well. So I'll just, yeah, be excited to see how good he gets. I think he will end up winning the Ballon d'Or pretty soon. And uh, yeah, taking over from Ronaldo Messi really as they come to the end of their careers. And then the, the player I think is going to get the best transfer from their performances. Could who had the best trying could be a Croatian. Be interesting to see if any of them get moves. Um, don't know who. Yeah, maybe that Rebic from uh, Stuttgart. I believe he plays that. Be interesting or Frankfurt maybe. But yeah, be interesting. He played really, really well in every game he played pretty much for uh, Croatia. So yeah, it'd be nice and interesting to see if he gets any transfers away. But yeah, this episode we are now going into, this must be groups, uh, this must be round of 16 or something like that. Yeah, we'll have to have a look. Uh, not quite a, a normal-ish like a little team you expect to see. Quite a good, few good players in there. Ericsson's a standout 90 rated player. And uh, yeah, we do come away with the win. Yeah, that was round of 16. We come away with a 2-1 win there. Very nice indeed. And uh, we go straight in and open that pack. Who do we get? Oh yeah, I can't. Probably the same as all you guys. I can't wait for FIFA 19 to be honest. It always this stage in FIFA is a bit dead in it. But um, yeah, the good thing about draft is that all the players have, think, have been released in packs for a while 
all the special players so that'll be very interesting to see if we can get anyone good out of them and I've also on this account because of the um, World Cup being on playing on this account and all those packs have opened with coins on this um, mode we've got all of those to open as well at the start of the um, draft of glory so that'd be quite interesting to see if we can pull anyone good out of that but um, yeah we get a rage quit in that or that no that was just a disconnect I'll, yeah I remember that now we were winning 5 1, so he might have done a, uh, a disconnect. He might have sort of made the disconnect happen, sort of thing, but yeah, that was random. Didn't seem like he would have done it, maybe he just turned his uh, console off. But uh, yeah, we've got enough for another pack now, so we'll open this single player pack and then we'll go straight in and open the, uh, the big 7.5k premium World Cup pack. And yeah, unfortunately. We didn't manage to pack any icons apart from obviously the ones through the icon SPCs, which is a shame. But that's a nice pull there, Royce, and he uh, we do use him quite a bit in our final games, and he uh, he does do some bits for us. And uh, yeah, it's a shame we didn't. I think our highest payer of the uh, pack pull player of the series has been must be Harry Kane in that single player pack. But um, yeah, shame that we didn't manage to get many other standouts really. Obviously we've got Lukaku, but um, yeah, we didn't get any Ronaldo's, Neymar's, Messi's, Kante's, Pogba's, Griezmann's, anyone like that. Even like Boateng's at the back, and Sergio Ramos, um, Varane even. His card that he ended up with on this, on the World Cup mode is unbelievable from winning the final, which... Uh, I would say France did deserve to be honest. Croatia had a lot of the ball and they did give it a good go but I just don't think you can argue when uh, when a team... I think the thing with France is they're so good all over the pitch really. You might call them defensive, you might call them negative football but at the end of the day they've won the World Cup so argue all you like. They've won the World Cup and they've done it quite comfortably you'd have to say. Their hardest game you probably have to say was the Belgian one and yeah they might have defended but you've got to look at it any team out there you're going to play with, towards your strengths and uh, if your strength is playing on the counter attack you're not going to start playing for possession football are you so it's one of those all the Belgian players were commenting after I know Courtois and Hazard both come out I think and um, I did did smile at that because if you if any of you guys watched the FA Cup final this year, Man U against Chelsea, Chelsea in that game they got their goal and they were the most negative team I think I've ever seen, especially in a final. So yeah, a bit hypocritical those Belgian players saying that, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, this is the semi-final I believe of the first uh, round through the FA Cup that we go in this episode and we. Uh, we get a 90th minute goal against us which is very frustrating this guy didn't have the greatest team but he was good at the game he knew how to uh, exploit the, um, the overpowered things in the game and he, uh, he had Lord Bentner up front causing me problems and uh, yeah scored two headers he scored one with Bentner and one with Guedes which was just unbelievable from the edge of the box almost that one was but yeah it is what it is and uh, yeah, we'll go and open that single player pack from that game, and then we'll go into our last and final uh, round or walk. Go, oh, can't speak. Going through the World Cup, and uh, yeah, we're going straight back into it now. It was a shame we couldn't do more with it, but unfortunately, at the minute, obviously, we've working and stuff I couldn't play as, as much as I could so we only had about four or five goes at the World Cup in the end but yeah you see that guy there he's got the Pogba and the uh, Varane which is just unbelievable Varane yeah was good he was probably one of the better centre backs with his base card let alone with the uh, upgrades to the 89 version but we uh, we come away with the win again there 5 nil, and uh yeah, it's a nice start, and I have to say, if any of you else of you have used um, the 
Mateus, the lid the icon in this mode is he is incredible. And also Maradona shot me. I think I said about it, his free kicks and stuff and just his dribbling and that. They are they do really play like icons, which is nice to see to be honest. And uh yeah, but um a quick contract on Southgate. And we did we had a solid team by the end of it. Alva there, probably the one of the better left backs you can get. Rosalco and Fernandez to sort of swap out right back. The centre back Smalling and Kimpembe I think were our best in the end. Shame we, ne we never got a better keeper than Minule, which was quite unfortunate considering there's quite a few European ones that would fit in there. But we come up against this guy now in our second game again, and he's got the Ronaldo. That would have been nice to get him in there, and he's got Boateng as well. But we do go and win that game as well, 3 0. Only picking up 370 coins because he did rage quit, but yeah, that is what it is. And uh, yeah, we go and open that pack. I don't believe we get any standout ones in these single player packs really now. As I say, we were quite unfortunate really. You see another duplicate far fan. Yeah, we, we uh, a lot of people you see get really good players out of those single ones, but I oh, know Harry Kane I think was our best by far, and apart from that maybe Lukaku like I said but yeah nothing great at all and uh, yeah if you comment comment below also um, what your final your in what team you ended up with the World Cup if you played it much and uh, if you had any icons what your favourite one was I would I would love to have got that one of Dino you see on the screen there but no we've got um, just a Quatcha Deco and Mateus and obviously the uh, lone Maradona to start and uh, yeah this is the third and final game now I believe in a minute after we open these two packs I oh, know that was the third one sorry that group stage we open that pack the premium one and uh, no we get no one again like I said yeah bit of a shame but it is what it is and uh, yeah be interesting to see what Germany do now as we see Joachim Lowe there I've got in that pack whether they um, they stick by or they get someone new in after they had a bit of a disastrous World Cup going out of the group stages after they uh, they won it in 2014 that would be, yeah, be quite interesting as we go into the round of 16 for the second time and uh, this guy he had a lot of good players in there, that Nakata card, one of the worst rated um, icons but still a good card and he's got Pepe in there, Boateng, Miranda, Quadrado upgraded I believe, Yashin in goal, the goalie and uh, yeah we did come away with a win though, 8-1, nice big 793 coins to uh, add to the bank, so we're doing well again there, round 16 game over and done with, quite I think that's probably our biggest win this series in the uh, group, the knockout stages, sorry. And we do get the Brighton boys, Quello actually. I don't think he made an appearance at the World Cup, but he was in their squad and he'll be uh, quite looking forward to seeing him again back in the Premier Brighton. He had a good first season for him and uh, scored a couple of bangers. So yeah, be quite interested to see that. If you, you can comment below as well actually, who what uh, what players you want your team to get this transfer window as I'm doing this um, it's the same day as Liverpool have just bought um, Alison Becker from Roma the goalie for a, a record goalie fee about 66 or 68 million so that would be interesting um, to see how he gets on I know it's quite quite an incredible stat I saw that they've bought a keeper and spent that much money on him after they've put seven goals past him in two legs in the uh, Champions League obviously that was more to do with the fact that Roma had a shocking defence but yeah it was quite a quite a interesting after he's let that many goals in but fair play to him hopefully uh, hopefully he's not great either as I'm a Man U fan I don't want to see him doing well but that'll be interesting after they've paid that much for him a lot of pressure and uh, yeah, he'll have to he'll have to live up to that. And then now into the what game is this? This must be the 
I think this is the last game again, so I'm showing the highlights here. So we do actually take the lead, our first final game in the semi-final. And yeah, you can work it out. We uh, we didn't unfortunately win it, but we do take the lead here. 39th minute of Royce, nice goal. And he was really good while we had him. Good player to use. Um, just a little bit more speed, and I think the fact that he felt a bit of a bit of a tank compared to um, Isco, although Isco had better stats and up upgraded um, card over the World Cup, he, uh, Royce just felt a little bit better. But he pulled one back just after half time with Ronaldinho, who is who is actually playing up front, and that did work out for him, as you'll see in a bit. But 61st minute now, he's uh, working it forward. I'll make a shocking pass out here, it goes to uh, Akotcha and he finesses that in beautifully from about 30 yards out on the 63rd minute. And uh, yeah, I was getting frustrated, I was trying my hardest, just going all out. But um, yeah, Sh almost straight away that is, he wins the ball back and he's working it forward into Akotcha and he threw balls it there to Ronaldinho, I get the ball, pass it back. I mean, I just I don't know what I'm doing there. I think where I was trying so hard, I've uh, I've just passed it straight back to Ronaldinho, and he's never going to miss that. And I was fuming at this stage, <laughs> absolutely fuming. But yeah, you can't be making those mistakes uh, um, at this stage of the World Cup mode with players having the teams that they did. And uh, we do pull one back, 76th minute with a Kocha, who has uh, been a good servant for us in this series, but. Unfortunately, that was how it's ended. So we do lose and take the three-one. No, sorry, the three-two loss against this guy. Fair play to him. He uh, he deserved it, I'd say. Did have a better team, and I think that was our undoing in the end. Against these closer games, we uh, lost in this series. Come down to just a few a few player differences, which would have helped us out. But yeah, what can you do? Pack luck and that basically yeah you just get lucky with it didn't you the old pack luck and we didn't obviously doing a pack only series no coins or um, FIFA points used there's odds were slim and uh, ZX our final player but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later